What is wrong with Firefox? At least the new Firefox version for Android, for the mobile smartphone. Um, this or these are the uh, feedbacks that you get for the new version. One stars, one stars, one stars, and oh, there's a five star. But you can see very low rating for the new version 79 or then later 80 for Android. So what is wrong with Firefox? Let's take a look at the new UI. Okay, it has the tabs and the address bar at the bottom, but this can't be hardly it, is it? No, it is more. There are some things that really, really suck on the new Firefox version in comparison to the older Firefox version, which I have running here on my Surface S device. It's Xperia 10 Plus. As you can see here, it has the address bar on the top. But this is looks pretty similar so far. Maybe the icon changed a bit and there's another security tab here for tracking protection. But this is not the main issue. One of the main issues is, for example, back button navigation. If you want to go back, you don't have a back button. If you go in here, you don't have a back button. If you go in here, you can see I have a back button. And what the back button allows me, even if I have gesture navigation activated where I don't have a physical back button to press, I can press and hold longer on this button here to show me a list of the last visited websites and I can directly jump to it. And this of course also works when long pressing and holding the back, the physical back button on the soft key basically on an Android. But newer phones like the Mate 30 Pro has a gesture navigation and your Android versions have gesture navigation and there is no option for this. I can go back by just swiping back but swiping and holding will perform uh, operating system dependent tasks. So what I can do here is like I have only the forward button. I can press and hold the forward button but this also doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't give me a list of anything. So I can go forward, but I cannot go backwards here or go backwards in the history. So this is one of the annoying things. The history is basically missing. The back button navigation history is missing. The next thing is arranging of tabs. I have to say that I personally never used it but if we open up the tabs overview you can see the new tabs overview here on the right and we can see the old tabs overview here on the left and what you can see here is this is a list and this is like more uh, yeah a column uh, what you can do in the old version is like for example I have two websites here I can just drag this one here press and hold it and drag it here so I can rearrange them if I have lots and lots of tabs open this is a very good feature indeed. Here I cannot do it. I can long hold, nothing will happen. I, I can only drag this down. And yeah, that's basically everything that I can do. I can swipe right or left to dismiss a tab, to close a tab. Uh, this is basically, by the way, also the same thing here. I can swipe left or right to dismiss a tab. And both feature the private tab. So I can go to private browsing tab. But here you can see you have more information on uh, private browsing and what it involves. And here you only have yeah, private tabs that will show up. And you have, of course, a button to open up a new private tab, which is missing here. So I have to go to the menu and say new tab. A bit more cumbersome. So I don't have the option to rearrange tabs in Firefox anymore. Then the next thing is the address bar. So if you go into the address bar on the old version of Firefox, you can see here I have lots and lots of recommendations to go to top sites, so called. But I can also swipe to the right and go to my bookmarks and see all my bookmarks and go to the bookmarks. Or even go to the history and uh, click on uh, history items, even on the one that are synced with different devices like a desktop. A pretty nice and neat little feature that appears when you open up the address bar. If you open up the address bar on the new Firefox, all you get is the address and lots and lots of blank space, which 
maybe I don't know what what it should have here not even a bookmark is turning up here I have a scan feature which allows me to scan QR codes and I have the option to select my search engine so if I click on this I can select my search engine I want to search the um, topic I will just enter here but that's all it's a bit of empty and lacking features so Choosing bookmarks from the address bar is not possible. So how do I get to my bookmarks on the new Firefox version? I have to go to the sub menu and then click on bookmarks and then I can see my various different bookmarks that I can uh, just call here by tapping on them. Then another big, big problem with the new Firefox version is the lack of add-ons. So let's go into add-ons. We can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine add-ons. Those are all add-ons available for Firefox right now, for the new Firefox version. All the other add-ons are not available. And if I go to add-ons here, uh, this is tools it is. Where are the add-ons here? So you can see I have problems finding the add-ons. There, add-ons. Here I have like lots and lots of more add-ons. I can click here and I have the whole Firefox website opening up with alone this list here. These are the recommended lists. But I have like uh, the option to just go in and say I want the newest add-ons first and it will list me all the add-ons that I can use on my Firefox browser. So I have lots and lots of more add-ons that I can use on the old version. So this is another problem that this version, the new version, is missing currently. Granted, Mozilla tested this version a long, long time ago. So it was available as um, Firefox Preview and then later as Firefox Nightly. And the new UI is a bit of, yeah, I find it a little bit of comic artsy, I would say. So it has a lot of comic elements, but it's not as worse as it was when the first Firefox preview turned up. But still, it is, I think it feels like a little bit unready, unfinished in contrast to this version. And when this version came out, lots of the features that you have nowadays in there were already there. So. It's a lack of quality control, I would say, in the Firefox browser. I don't know why they released this version without a back button, which is like totally crazy, I have to say. Um, so you have only to rely on the back button gestures or the back button itself, which is, I don't know. I really don't know. Good thing is, what you can do, let's get my Xperia 10 Mark II in here. You can install the Firefox uh, nightly version. Let's get the brightness up. It's sunny here like crazy. So you can get the Firefox nightly version installed. And if you have the nightly version installed, uh, you can have some more features. First of all, they returned the back button. So I can long press here and get a list of all my recently visited websites and can go on them. I have in the address bar, mm, they changed it. As you can see, if I click on the address bar, this whole white page that was there before is gone missing. I now have the address bar here directly. I can type in what I want to type in. The bookmarks are still missing, but I have the option to scan and select search engines again if I'd like to. Uh, so this is back and it is searching also the bookmarks. So I can uh, just type in, uh, like for example, something with Linux, and it sh shows me here uh, some stuff that has something to do with Linux. So it's also searching the bookmarks. But you don't have the option to select bookmarks directly. You have to start typing and searching. And uh, the next feature that they brought back, no, another feature that they added, like the tab bar, they have like a save collection option now because they want to want you to save whole bookmarks as collections. So if you're searching for a product, for example, and want to compare products, I can save them as a collection. Another feature that they added in, in the new Firefox Nightly 
uh, is the option to just drag down on the bar to switch between tabs which is I think pretty handy I think Chrome has the same option and uh, now it is also available in Firefox it wasn't available here see if I drag nothing happens I can <laughs> okay in this case I'm dragging uh, the Android 10 switching uh, application option so this is uh, not working here and uh, this was also not available in the old Firefox version so Mozilla is still working on uh, different things but if you really like to have the experience of a back button in your browser uh, uh, to have the option to have like an add-ons manager which features um, a little bit more stay on the old version or if you want to have the back button we want a new version because you think that the new engine in the Firefox browser is faster loading and more stable um, than the old version you can switch to Firefox Preview or not Firefox but Firefox Nightly in this case which ha features the back button and features some other uh, options in here which are pretty cool and what's this here install it installs a uh, link uh, you can see also the, the the difference in the menu itself so here it is like using almost everything of my space and here it is just like uh, very small and compact and allows me yeah install is uh, the option to go to to add this uh, to your uh, home screen so my home screen I should have now I don't see it didn't work now yeah, maybe in the future it will work um, to add an icon to the website itself and yeah um, also you can see here now we have the downloads option to see our downloads menu which is missing here in the normal Firefox as well so we don't have an option to go to downloads even uh, so if you don't you have to go to settings probably and then go and search for downloads or something like this which is I think also pretty bad design so that's everything for this video uh, if you have some suggestion what browser are you using on your Android smartphone are you sticking with the native browser that comes with your uh, Android smartphone for example on the mate it would be the uh, Huawei browser uh, on uh, the Xperia would be the Chrome browser or do you switch to a specific browser to sync your data to sync your tabs and so on like Firefox and did you use Firefox in the past how do you like the new browser uh, do you want to wait until the new browser is like uh, in a bit more finished state uh, everything uh, you can write down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and until the next time bye